Insulin is the fat storage hormone. You may have heard people say that before, and while I'm not here to debate that point, as it most certainly is, it isn't accurate to say it is the only fat storage hormone, because insulin has a little brother. In this content, I'm going to show you the science behind insulin's little brother, including brief data and the physiological workings of this mystery factor. Let's get into it. Learn your body, a science-based education. This information comes from a study that I will have linked as well as my notes and any minor amendments made after this publishing. So we're on the same wavelength. Let's discuss a bit of the fat storage physiology on a cellular level. Fat storage into the fat cells is mediated by an enzyme known as lipoprotein lipase, shortened as LPL. LPL takes storage forms of fat molecules known as triglycerides from the bloodstream and cuts them into their free version of the fat molecule known as non-esterified fatty acids, but we'll refer to it as NIFA. These NIFAs move out of the vessel containing them like a chylomicron coming from the intestine and either move into the bloodstream to carry on in the blood circulation or they are taken up by fat cells and trapped back into the storage form of the fat molecule, again, a triglyceride. In brief, LPL cuts up triglycerides from the inside of the transport vessel and allows their freed version, NIFAs, to be incorporated into fat cells, being trapped or stored again as triglycerides. Insulin increases the activity of LPL by increasing the number of these lipoprotein lipases that are created by the fat cells and the surrounding cells like endothelial cells. It also encourages their secretion as they can be released from the cells. However, there is another factor that may emulate insulin's effects. This little brother to insulin is known as acylation stimulating protein or ASP for short. Let's see if ASP can truly enact this fat storage role. In this first piece of data, the researchers are merely measuring the amount of activity of lipoprotein lipase, LPL, on the cell surface of fat cells, as well as free-floating in liquid with and without insulin or ASP. Interestingly, and counter to the proposed function of ASP, only insulin increases the activity of LPL, not ASP. However, the researchers decided to look at a more tissue-like environment, including other cells present around the fat cells, and remeasure NIFA production, a measure of LPL activity, but also the incorporation into fat cells under the same conditions. They received different results, seeing an increase in NIFA incorporation into fat cells with both insulin and ASP. So this implies ASP increases fat storage, just like insulin. So, based on this data, ASP, acylation stimulating protein, increases fat molecule uptake, storage, by fat cells, but not in the exact same way insulin increases storage. In both circumstances, however, it is believed, not solely on this data, that these hormones increase fat storage and reduce lipolysis, fat breakdown according to these researchers. So that still raises the question of how ASP enacts its role, since it did not increase LPL activity in isolation like insulin. Well, that's because ASP functions in a unique way, although it leads to the same overall result. With that, I'd encourage you selecting to learn how ASP functions, and I hope to have the pleasure of speaking with you in the near future. Cheers.